So let's start to create our first family. We must understand that you can compare the building site with the Revit project file. What we're going to do now is to create a family in a factory. So here you see the strip foundation. On top of this, a Lega block. We're going to create that in the factory. So what we start doing is opening the project file, or you can say the building site. Here we have a basic wall foundation. On top of this, we will build our uh, Lekker block. So we will go into the factory, you can say, and then start up creating a new family. So on the file, you go into new and new family. So we will create <clears throat> a very basic, simple, freestanding family where the base constraint is a level. So this Lekker block is hard to put into a specific category. Um, so I choose this one, metric generic model. First thing I'm going to do is saving this. So into file, save as, save as family. I have created a folder here called course files. And I save this uh, 124 Lekker block. Over here, you see the same views as you see in a project file. So we have floor plans, we have 3D views, we have elevations, sheets, and so on. When you see the specification of this Lekker block, you might know that this will not be the full length of, of it when it's um, mounted on the site. So a 10 millimeter uh, mortar joint will be subtracted from the dimension of it. We will add those 10 millimeter. So this Lekker block we'll create is 500 by 200 by 390. So normally when we start creating families, it's a good idea to create a number of reference lines or reference planes. So I'll start doing that. Um, I'll create a couple of reference planes here around the center of the canvas. Um, and I'll add a few dimensions here so that they will be centered around and the middle of this um, this canvas, like that. Um, then I'll add a couple of more dimensions because this is um, this is the length of the Lekker block, and this is the width of the Lekker block. Those two dimensions, we would like to create them as parameters. So when I select a dimension here and start um, the parameter or, or, or turn this into a, a parameter, the first thing we need to find out, should this be a type parameter or an instance parameter? So if we go to the project, and see this foundation that we have here. If I select a wall foundation here, what we see here or what we see over here in um, the information or the parameters about this, this and only this foundation, we see here are called instance parameter. If I want to change something, not only on this um, piece of wall here or this, this foundation here, but all walls or foundation made of the same, same type, I need to say edit type. As you see here, then we have another number of, of different parameters that we can add. So that is the difference between instance, is this one, and type parameters, is this one. So in this case, I would like that my Lekker block here, the length of this, um, is a type parameter. So that is length. 
is a type parameter. And the width is also a type parameter. So before we start creating any 3D geometry, we'll try to, to create the different types that, that we want to have here, or at least one type. So before we start doing anything, I'll go to Family Types, and I will then uh, add a new type. And if we should find a good name for that, um, we can then call it uh, 490 by 190, and then this uh, width. So 490 by 190 by 390. That will be this specific Leica block. Then we can change the length and we add the joint 500 and the width is without any joint, so that will be 390. And before we do anything else, before we begin to create, we'll make sure that this works. And, and as you can see, when I adjusted the dimensions, it changed. So I'll go to the front view and I'll create the last remaining reference plane here, indicating the height. So I'll add a parameter. Again, it's a type, and the height is supposed to be 200 height. And if I go to Family Types, I can then change the height to 200. So now if if I want to have if I want to create the the full range of of uh, the Laker block here at the other uh, widths that we have here, I can then create new types up here and they will be available in the project. I keep this one as uh, the only one. So back to this, and we're now ready to create the geometry. So I say create, extrusion, I can take a rectangle extrusion, snap to the intersection of those reference planes, and then it's important to lock this like that. I finish this, I go to the front view, and I then drag this until it snaps to this reference plane here, and I lock it. So if we go to the 3D view, and if we then go and create a new type here, so um, I can create a new type here, that will then be again 490 by 190, and then 150. That is my new type. And I change the width to 150, and I say apply, and it will change here as you see. So back to this, and I can then go back and change this to this one. So it's time to leave the factory and enter the building site. So we save this liquor block and say load into project. And then you can see I have my liquor block at the tip of my mouse here. And depending on where I place this, it will be placed on a surface. As you can see here, it's placed on a surface. If we want to be a bit more precise, I'll say escape a few times now, and I say escape because it's also a good idea to know where do I get this liquor block. 
since it's in the project, it's supposed to be somewhere. So under architecture and component, we have the Lekker block here, and we can choose between the two different. Um, placing it, it more precise, I will go to floor plan level one, um, then pick my Lekker block, because then I can snap, as you can see down here, uh, lower left corner. Um, when I place it here, it will snap to the foundation, as you can see here. So I place it here, so I can be much more precise placing the Lega block where it's supposed to be. I can mark one, I can copy it multiple times, like this. I can select those Lekker blocks. Control C, copy them, paste them into the same place. I'll get a warning saying that we have identical instances in the same place. If I then go to exterior, right click and select previous. I can then move them one step up or if I want to to move the bond, the bonding at the same time at the same time I can then move them like this. If I want to place them at the corner I can move them all like this. And if I want to have one going the other direction, I can rotate them uh, with my mouse like this and use a line tool to place them correct. <laughs> 